Hey there, Mission Control. Well, I'm going to start working on setting out the stuff I need to electrically connect everything inside of the Expedition uh, to the cube. So, so far I've got the Gynormous inverter. That comes with a status switch, which is pretty cool. Didn't know that was going to happen. Got some major cables there for the battery. This is a secondary battery that I'm putting in in the cube so that if the vehicle's off, we can run off of this battery. So we'll have two batteries in the vehicle, essentially is how it'll be wired. Um, we should never really have it where it's running and the battery's off uh, or the vehicle's off. It's just not going to happen very often. If it does happen, it's going to happen for a few minutes while we go inside for our customers and come back out. So maybe 10, 15 minutes max. Plenty of battery here for that. But wait, there's more. The key enabler to this whole thing is this little guy right here. It's called a CoolBot. And what it's going to do is it's going to trick the air conditioning unit into thinking that it needs to run more often than it really does. This allows us to set a cooler um, than room temperature, like comfortable 70, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, is that like 20, 20 degrees? 20 degrees Celsius, somewhere around around there. So now we're going to be able to take it down to about 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Is that like five, eight degrees? Eight degrees Celsius, somewhere in there. Anyway, um, so this is a major one that we have to do. Hey, Tiger. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, we got safety belt connectors. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about this, but we're actually going to attach the cube to the four safety belt harnesses in the back of the vehicle. So if there is an accident and it shifts, uh, at least one of those uh, should grab, hold, and uh, keep it, arrest its uh, forward motion. And that's good. We got lots of heavy duty cable here. So we can connect up to the battery up front, off the alternator probably. That's going to be fun to wire. Not. What else we got here? Uh, ooh, cool bot stickers to put on because yeah, we got to do that. Uh, what else? Oh, we got the terminals to connect to it and the wires. Uh, we got some lower power wire or lower amperage wire and some LEDs that I'm going to mount in the top of the cooler so when you open it up got a switch and you can turn the lights on inside what else we got and we got a whole bunch of screws very important to have lots of screws so I've got to figure out how this stuff all goes together I have a plan uh, but plans are only good until you meet your enemy in battle so we better get to battle. So here's my plan. Battery's here. I really wanted to go through the firewall back here, but all the gaskets are completely filled and I don't want to cut them. There's one gasket unused back there. So I'm gonna run cable along the back of the firewall, zip tie it up there, go through that point. That'll bring us over to the driver's side. Then I'm gonna shove it through the back of the heater there. I'm going to bring it over to the passenger side. That's where we're going now. Behind, inside the dash there. I'm going to come out there, go around the fuse box. I've already taken these panels out right here. And then we'll run the cable underneath and bring it up right where the inverter is going to be, right here. So, we're going to get started on that now. When I punch through the firewall, there's just a gasket in there. I'm going to tape these two ends together just to help make everything go a little smoother. There we go. And we'll give it a little bit of actual length here that's straight. Before it gets all tangled up and gob gobbledygook. be enough to make it through. I am not a pro at this, so I guess I would say don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of know when I was a kid in high school, you know, you hook up your own radio a few times. 
So I've done that. Need a razor blade. So here's the gasket. I just cut it open. I'm gonna put it back in now. Let me see if I can't pull it through. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Beautiful thing. So this, across here, like so. Already. So, bring it into the battery here, zip tie this to it, okay, and the rest of this got to get pulled through. Get some zip ties, we'll tidy that all up. Oops, I pulled too much black through. Uh, and then we'll start working on the inside. Here's game plan now. Look at these ends. We're going to be putting on so we can mount everything nicely, nice and clean. We have a fuse that needs to go in as well. The fuse we're going to put right in line up here somewhere and probably zip tie it to the back. So. Go. Mm. put these on before. So I need a little Allen wrench. I'll go get that, come back and hook this thing up. Well, it just don't want to go in there. I'm going to lose that thing. Put that over here so I don't lose it. There, thread started. Aww. 
is slightly the wrong size. Anyways, always helps to have the right tool. There's that piece. That goes around that. Yay. Yay me. I just got the fuse in place and zip tied to the back wall and I got the end put on the positively. Now I'm going to leave everything loose until we get the uh, the cube in so I can mount the actual uh, battery and the inverter because if I if I actually uh, connect this right now I'll have two 12 volt loose ends uh, that I don't have going to anything and they could actually uh, short short out the system. So I'm going to leave it just disconnected until everything is in and I can connect to the other battery. Hi Tiger. You're right in the camera, you know that? You're showing everybody your butt, you know that? Little cat butt. I don't know if I would stand exactly right there if I were you. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Two steps in the wrong place and you are going to feel a little zap. Okay, really? Okay, now I just moved you. Okay, go on. Oh, see, now you made me lose the... Oh, tiger. You made me lose the little nut thing. Oh, now we're totally in a bad spot. Lord, please show me where the nut is at. You are a little troublemaker. A little troublemaker. i got to find a little nut. Yeah, a little nut. You made me drop. Okay, we've recovered from Tiger's interference. Oh no, she's coming back over. Put that in place. Put that in place before she gets here. Okay, so we've got our positive terminal, negative terminal, fuse is in, cat is back, you're in the wrong spot cat. Everything that's going to run, got plenty of length to do the job, but we're going to leave it all disconnected until we get the cube installed and run the battery up there. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I uh, just wanted to show you the wiring, it took me quite a bit of time just to think through how I want to run it. All came out real nice, really happy with it. Uh, I got to go install the uh, siding into the cube next and actually get it uh, uh, built essentially so I can slide it all in here before I can finish the electronics. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian. Out.